So we're moving on. We're going to talk about another bold move. It's a bold move to have a pizza oven, but it's a bold move to use color boldly. Sharon Greck is here to talk about that. You've spent many years on this show convincing people to get out of their comfort zone when it comes to yes. color and have some fun with it. But I think most of us are more able to go there with our kids. Yeah. And our tweens and our yeah. teens. Um, and you can have some fun with their space. And this color it's is a very kids. sophisticated way to do it, it. It is. And I think kids are naturally um, attracted to color. Yes. We become afraid. But when you put a strong, bold color, like this is Blue Danube. So Lovely. it's gorgeous. You could use, it's very sophisticated. You could use this in, in your own space, in the living space as well. Yes. But I thought, why not put it bold on the color in Benjamin Moore chalkboard paint? Yeah. Because then it could just be a wall. You could use any color you want. And it could just be an accent wall if you're more comfortable. Or you could do all of the walls. But I think, you know what, it's a really great opportunity for kids to really have fun and express themselves. And as they start to get older, you know, they'll continue that doodling on the walls that they did when they were, you know, <laughs> yes. four. You didn't want them to. But now right. it's allowed. So I thought there's a couple of different ways of using strong color. But some people feel more comfortable doing it in the wall. And then you want to go more neutral with the accessories. Yes. So I've got some fantastic pieces from Ikea. Mm -hmm. We've got this really beautiful chair, very cozy. And then a cozy spot to sit down, to lounge, to hang out. So you can still mix in patterns when you've got a bold color on the wall. But you want to kind of keep it to a minimum of three colors. So we've got grays, we've got different right. shades of gray, we've got white and black, just little hits of it. But again, a touch of wood is always a really great way mm -hmm. to warm it up. This is really nice. Isn't so that gorgeous? You've got a louder wall, you've got a quieter everything else. Yes. Um, and, and it works well this way uh, because you've got that balance. Yes, right? you've still got some pattern, you've got some yes. stripes, but they're in more subdued colors. Right. But then, so over <laughs> here, you've sort of flipped it. So you've got a wall that's a little quieter. And by the way, yeah. I love this treatment on the wall. Isn't the that fun? That is so cool. I love how you did that. Because quiet can still be pattern. Like yes. it can still be interesting. So. But you've got, you've got all the noise happening down here. Absolutely. And you can see that it's very similar to the furniture before. It's yeah. still from Ikea, but you've taken that chair. And with Ikea, you can actually do some really fun colors in furniture. So right. this is like a bright fuchsia color. I took that same desk, I painted the legs with this beautiful nice. magenta tone, and then a pop of bright yellow. That's Sun Porch. Ooh. Isn't that a fun color? Oh, so you DIY'd this desk. I DIY'd that oh, desk. Oh, I like that. So again, I think when you're looking for ways to bring color into your space, whether it's your kid's room or your own room, think about reusing furniture that you already have and painting it, because that's yeah. a great way to bring a pop of color. Mm -hmm. Or with Ikea, there's always great little, you know, they're always fun to, to paint. And you're not spending a ton of money, so you don't mind. Absolutely. But with the wall, pattern, pattern, pattern. And we're seeing um, younger kids really inspire us with how they mix color, how they mix pattern. So I use actually some really nice neutrals. I use Silver Fox. I use Classic Gray as mm. the base, which is as my white. Mm -hmm. And then I use Balbeo Mist. So it's just like a little hint of pink, but yes. it's very neutral. And again, this is something that your kids could help you with. They could do just tape. It's just beautiful, and I will say this about kids now, especially the tweens, they are becoming very savvy when it comes to their decor. They're actually scaring me a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> like they will say, no, 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 I want a paint treatment on the wall. You can tape it out. Like they know what's going on, and it's partially because of shows like City Line. You're right. So you've given, we've given people that knowledge, um, and they're coming back to us saying this is the sort of thing they want in their space. Absolutely. It's kind of cool. It's like, Mom, I'm going to paint my ceiling. Don't forget about the fifth wall. Right? <laughs> It's amazing. So, you know, so yeah, let them let them explore. And I have so many parents often ask me, oh, my daughter wants to use fuchsia. My son wants to use yeah. black. You know what? Let them. Especially use it. It's, it's paint or it's accessories. But right. again, if you're painting pieces of furniture, you can always change it. Yeah. And you know what? If it's not the big investment pieces, but even if it is, you know what? This chair might hang around for an awfully long time. That's it's true. It's in good shape. But you can just, again, you could put it with more neutral things, and it'll just be that pop of color. So be brave. Be brave. Think <laughs> college. Maybe they can take that take with them. Take it away from your house. Exactly. Right? So you might get some longevity out of the furniture that you pick in their space. And I love that you've gone with big, bold color.